What's up everybody? Dan here at Beard of the North. As I usually say, if you're new, please hear, feel free to hit that thumbs up and that sub button. If you're returning, I appreciate you very much. Thank you for coming back. We got another review here for you today, and the company that I'm looking at is Westy Beard Company. All right, Westy Beard Company, owned by a man named Zach Burt, uh, based out of North Carolina. Started in early 2021. A little backstory on the company and Zach is he named the company after his two twin sons, Weston and Wyatt. And I have to say that this man is a very ambitious man. He works for a, constru a steel construction company as a project manager. He farms with cattle and he also is the lead, the singer and songwriter for a country band. Now, if you've been watching my channel at all for a while now, you probably understand that country music probably isn't on my top standing list. So sorry, Zach, I probably won't ever check out your music. Maybe just to be nice, but not my favorite kind. Um, one thing that I do want to emphasize on with this with Zach and this company is this man goes above and beyond for his customer service. A little bit of a story for between him and I. Um, when I ordered something from him, he was messaging me, letting me know when it was coming, when he had shipped it out. Uh, when I got it, I let him know that I had gotten it, and I was telling him, you know, how it was and everything. And one of my butters had actually melted. Because I ordered it, of course, in the middle of summer, and it was 90 to 100 here. So I told him, you know, one of my butters had melted. I just thought I'd let you know. Not a big deal. I'll just melt it down and refreeze it. Not a big problem. He called me, and he said, let me see it. And I showed it to him, and he's like, ah, it looks like shit. I'm sending you a new one. And I said, no, you don't have to do that, man. No big deal. I'll, I'll fix it. No problem. And he's like... No, I'm sending you a new one. And no matter how much I pleaded with him, he wasn't taking no for an answer. So he was kind enough to send me an, a new one. And throughout the time since I ordered, he you know, messages me and says, how's it going and whatnot. So this guy goes above and beyond for his customers and people that he interacts with. <coughs> Excuse me. He is one of those guys that really cares. And I applaud him for that. So his products... I'll tell you on his website first, his oils, his balms, and his butters are all $18 across the board. He has a sample pack of all five of his scents for $25 if you want to give him a try. He also has mustache wax, which is $13, and then he does his combos, which are oils and balm, or oils and butter, and those are $32. Bucks. Not too bad. Um, the two scents that I'm going to be looking at are Saddle Up and then Backwoods. I love the Amber Glass bottle. He's got the standard dropper top on here. Now his oil <clears throat> kind of has like a milky yellowish tint to it and I know that's because he's got emu oil in it. Give a little bit of a consistency test here. It's kind of a thicker oil. Medium-ish kind of oil. Which I love. I love thick oils. And then his butter, which glad these plastic tops. I just have to point out. I don't know if I could ever convince companies to move away from these because if you accidentally tighten it just a little too hard, these crack. Just gonna throw that out there. But his butters don't even have to push really, and it melts really well. Good consistency. Works up, warms up in the palms real well. 
breaks down real good. His carrier blend, he has argon oil, emu oil, golden jojoba oil, hemp seed oil, sweet almond oil, and then his essential fragrance. And then in his butters, he has his carrier blend, and then he has shea butter and beeswax. Can't really tell there's much beeswax in the butters. I don't really, I can't really tell all that well, which is a good thing for me since I don't really like beeswax. It's meant for balms. So, now the scent profile for Backwoods. This one is a simple pine and cedarwood. Oh, and I love that. I love that smell. Very simple. I love pine. I love cedarwood. They're my favorite scents. And he hit it spot on. This was the scent that I really wanted when I was looking through his stuff. Fantastic. And then in Saddle Up, the scent profile on this one is Cuban Tobacco, Kentucky Bourbon, Leather, and Vanilla. And that Bourbon and that Vanilla, those are ones that hit you right up front. I like those smells quite a bit. That tobacco and the leather are more on the back end. And I, I enjoy that. This one's a good one. I really enjoy this one too. I know his biggest hit is Sun Dropping, but I'm not a big citrus guy. It's alright. He's got five cents total. I, would, I recommend going and checking him out. Really good quality products. That emu oil is really good. Really good for the skin. <laughs> I would say the scent duration that I get out of them is close to six to eight hours. They do tend to they fade a little bit towards the end of the day, but I like them quite a bit. Feeling beard, my beard felt really great. I mean, nice and light and soft. The skin underneath was nice and hydrated and moisturized. It's a fantastic company, fantastic guy. I recommend you go check him out. With as much as this man is involved in and how ambitious he is, you know, between his cattle farm and the country music and his kids and his, you know, full-time job and then picking up this and doing this beard company on top of that and he makes fantastic products and quality stuff, I applaud him for that. So with that being said, this will be the end of the review and like I usually say, if you're new, Feel free to hit that thumbs up and that sub button if you're returning. I hope you enjoyed the video and I appreciate you. And with that being said, just do everybody a favor and grow that beard.